This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Uh, I'm Brian McCornack from the Department of Entomology at Kansas State University, and uh, today at uh, uh, Corn Schools I'm talking about myfields.info. Uh, this is a project that's been around for about three years. Uh, most of the work that we've done to date has been in small groups, getting feedback from uh, growers, consultants, uh, uh, county extension agents, even some researchers. Uh, we now have some tools available that uh, let the general public know really what myfields.info is more about. Uh, one of the tools, for example, we talked about today is building your own management guide. So as an entomologist, as a group of entomologists, we, we like to provide up-to-date information about insect management. So one way that we do that is we send a PDF to you that, or you come to a, a, an event like this and get a, a hard copy. And it's a list of all corn pests that are important to Kansas. Uh, what we're trying to um, demonstrate is that maybe not all corn pests are important to you. Not all corn pests are important to your fields. Uh, so this concept of my fields is a way of customizing that extension information based on who you are, where you are, and when you are. And when you take the time to put those three questions into uh, a technology like my fields, uh, all of a sudden you customize your extension experience and get what it is you really need um, that's, that's pertinent to that particular field. When we originally started this project, it was iWheat. And what we found out from, from I wheat and talking to wheat producers is that they're not just wheat producers, they're also corn producers and soybean producers, uh, some of them sorghum producers. And so uh, instead of creating several sites that are disconnected, uh, the approach, uh, at least in our, our minds, was to, to consolidate this. Think about this in terms of a field. What happens to that field through time? Uh, well, it's probably rotated through corn and soybean, um, to not only for insect pressure, but also disease and weed management and fertility management. There's a lot of value in, in doing that. But at the same time, uh, we didn't want to stress our, our users by going to multiple sites to do that. So the concept of my fields um, is really multi-commodity. And uh, some of the bigger tools that are, will be coming up, at least to look for, uh, one of which is, is actually what our stakeholders asked for, is the, is the uh, weed management guide. Uh, and, that, and that will be available here in the next couple months, but it'll, again, same type of customization. You go through and find uh, the product that you really pay attention to, uh, and put that into your own management guide, and now you're only managing content for five to six herbicides that are important to you instead of the entire book. Uh, so again, it's that idea of taking what's meaningful and pushing that to you based on some uh, very simple information, what we call data, that you send back to us. And so uh, what we've talked about today with, uh, with, with this group um, is, how, is how you can do that uh, on, online right now at myfields.info. Hello friends, I'm Ernie Rodina. And I'm Don Dawson with the Better Horses Radio Show. For over nine years, we've been bringing the Better Horses Radio Show to markets all across the Midwest. We talk about God, lots about horses. We talk about cows, we talk about horse health, we talk to top trainers, and we even talk about Roy Rogers. We're having a blast with Better Horses Radio Show and would love to take it to a market near you. So visit our website at betterhorsesradio.com and let us or your local radio station know you'd like to hear it in your area. The Better Horses Radio Show is unbelievable. unbelievable.